welcome back to my channel i trust that you are doing well on this fine beautiful afternoon or whenever you're watching this video so in this video i'm actually going to be doing well this is going to be a get ready with me video i'm going to put my makeup on and um i haven't okay i've already um prepped my skin i already have on i'm, I'm already wearing sunscreen and everything like that you guys have seen me apply sunscreen several times before so um i'm just gonna jump right into it so i'm gonna start with brows but anyway if this is your first time on my channel thank you very much i appreciate having you here if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you so much for your support and for those of you who are not subscribed because i know some i know a lot of you guys watch my videos and you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe today and make sure you turn on the notification so that you will know when i upload another video so i haven't done my 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 brows on camera in so long so i'm gonna do that now uh bare face no makeup skin ain't popping i've been struggling with my skin for the past week and i believe it's because i'm allergic to something i just haven't figured out what it is so i think i i think it's probably all that chocolate that that i've been consuming lately so yeah um i've eased up on the chocolate so you know my skin is recovering it's not looking it's not the best it has ever looked but you know it is what it is i guess so i'm you i use the anastasia beverly hill dip brow i've been using this for years i don't use anything else that's one brow and i'm not wearing bangs today because you know usually when i'm wearing bangs i don't put uh i don't put a lot of effort into my brows because my brows are mostly hidden when i'm wearing bangs but yeah no bangs today so i have to put a little more effort into the brows i have to make sure they're even i have to make sure one is not thicker than the other like this is not my favorite part of my makeup like you know doing my brows and putting on eyelashes are not my favorite part of doing my makeup when i started this channel years ago this was a beauty channel and back then i was obsessed with makeup yo like i wanted to be a beauty guru so bad <laughs> but you know things change so, you know, back in 2017, when I did my brows, I would go in with a very light concealer and sculpt my brows, but I don't do that anymore. First of all, I can't believe I used to do that. Like, what was I thinking? I think I want to curl, curl my hair. Also, I'm going to be answering questions in this video. Y'all, I'm missing a brush. What the hell is going on? Oh, there you are <laughs> i don't use concealer to scrub my brows anymore i just go in with my foundation and the foundation i'm using is the anastasia beverly hills foundation i've been using this foundation all of 2020 i used to use my favorite foundation it used to be my, um, the huda beauty full filter foundation and that was my favorite foundation for like three years y'all that was my holy grail but something happened and what happened was the pandemic and you know because of the pandemic i wasn't going out much i wasn't doing much with my life i was at home and the only time i was applying makeup was when i'm doing youtube videos or when i had to go live on facebook or something like that and i just realized that you know like i just didn't need this much makeup i didn't need to be this 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 glam i just want something lighter and i found my favorite my all-time favorite foundation which is the anastasia beverly hills foundation this foundation is so lightweight and you know i don't i don't like you know full coverage anymore especially now that i'm getting older so i just use my foundation to sculpt my brows and it, it makes you look more natural i don't like to see that um brows that have I don't like to see when people do their brows and around the brows are too light like that is not like back in 2015 that was cute you know but that is that ain't cute anymore y'all that's a, that's the thing with makeup you know like these trends they come and they go 
so when i'm done doing my brows i'm definitely gonna answer some answer your questions where's my ipad <laughs> okay okay so that's my brows that's all i'm doing for my brows for now i want to do this really really quick um and you know this this look that i'm going to be doing right now for you guys is the look that i've been doing been doing all of basically all of 2020 i do my makeup like this all the time like the days when i used to experiment with makeup and stuff like that those days are long behind me y'all <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills foundation and i know you guys can't see on camera but this foundation is a little bit darker for me but i like using a darker foundation because i don't like that that flashback you know like you know when, when people put put their makeup on and you take a picture and that white cast like oh i hear that so i tend to go for something a little darker i don't know if, i don't know if you guys can see it is a little it's a little on the orange side but you know i like it like this so let me just go ahead and blend so the first question that i saw is please tell me the color of your eyes i've been trying to figure it out for a long time great vlog by the way thank you the color of my eyes are brown they used to be um really really light when i was younger when i was a a, a, a young girl growing up in the 80s like i and 90s i got a lot of compliments for my eyes you know people will compliment me about my eyes oh my god your eyes are so pretty but you know as you guys know when you get older your skin your hair and your eyes gets darker so i don't get a lot of compliments anymore but what i've noticed is that i don't know lately people have been noticing that my eyes are brown i don't know if you guys can see it like this is not the best light in y'all to see my eyes like y'all i'm sorry about that <laughs> i'm sorry about the broom in the corner oh my god that is so ghetto i'm sorry yeah i don't know i don't know if you can see it but sometimes depending on the lighting you can see my eyes my eyes look really great i we i don't have the best lighting right now it's very overcast it's um it's very gray outside but yeah so that's my foundation i don't know if you guys can see but this foundation is definitely darker and the reason why i do that is because i don't have that white look you know like you know that coca-cola body fanta face on camera because i don't like that look at all that look is not flattering i don't like it so i use the anastasia, anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation and i'm gonna go in with the huda beauty cookie dough concealer i still use um huda beauty products it's just that i don't use the foundation anymore so let's go on to the other question while i'm putting on this concealer oh lord okay i can't get any more concealer out of the tube so i'm gonna have to open up um a new one so yeah i'm gonna open up this one because y'all i don't i don't know what's going on <laughs> there, there we go that's what i'm talking about y'all i have to these dark circles y'all oh my god my dark circles have been out of control lately y'all because i haven't been getting a lot of sleep and i think that's probably why my skin is acting up too let's go for more questions someone is asking can you talk about colors makeup and clothing that looks good on you i'll definitely do that i do plan to do that in an upcoming video so don't worry i have your back girl i will definitely do that video these dark circles yours like like my circles hasn't been this dark in so long i try to avoid putting lightening products too close to my eyes so you all know the challenge because like i don't put lightening products on my eyelids at all because i'm afraid that it seeps down and goes in my eyes so you know my eyelids my eyelids be looking hella dark y'all so 
so as you can see this concealer is very thick and very opaque and you're gonna get a lot of coverage with this concealer like, like honestly like you don't need much with this concealer and of course you know when you when, once you put on your concealer always go in with your the with the brush that, that you use always go in with the brush that you use and blend all the rest of the foundation okay and blend out the edges of the concealer that's what i meant to say sorry so i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and let me go through this um i have my trusty ipad here let me go through this so this is the question so i recently purchased the last Blah. So I recently purchased the lactic acid peel that you recommended for dark knuckles. I remember you saying after using it once a week for six weeks, you can use it as needed. Does that mean I will see a difference in my hyperpigmentation by then? How were your results after six weeks? So um, usually I start seeing a difference after the, after the second week. But you know, for optimal results, you know, um, it's recommended for severe cases. It is recommended that you do um once a week for six weeks but if you feel like you know you have gotten results after like the second or third week you can stop and if after six weeks you know you still haven't um gotten the, the results that you wanted it is always good to take a break for a couple of weeks and then start again so yes so um yes to that person asked that question yes i did see a difference you are going to see you are definitely going to see a difference like lactic acid is one of the best alpha hydroxy acid especially for melanated people and hyperpigmentation um glycolic acid on the other hand i feel like glycolic acid is best for texture you know like if you have like a lot of pores and stuff like that you know i would recommend glycolic acid but if you're trying to lighten up and you're trying to get rid of the hyperpigmentation i would definitely recommend you know going for glycolic acid i mean sorry lactic acid so i'm using the huda beauty powder i think it's the huda beauty easy bake powder and i'm gonna put that under my eyes on my eyelid make sure i set that concealer in place and you don't need a lot of powder you know i just lightly Put it on the area i don't bake because <coughs> <coughs> lord <laughs> so yeah i don't bake and the reason why i don't bake is because i don't have oily skin anymore i used to have really really oily skin when i was younger and if you have dry skin or you're over the age of 30 like i wouldn't recommend baking like leave that for those young ones the young girls on youtube like those beauty girls okay so next question hello mimi i i'm interested in the vitamin c and sunscreen you are using are you just new sorry i am just new to your channel and i'm starting using your skincare routine pills thank you for sharing always appreciated much love so um if you want to get the sunscreen and the vitamin c serum that i use I would, uh, I always leave links in the description under all my videos of all the products and all the, um, the pills and stuff that I use. So hit the link below and you will see a link where you can purchase the sunscreen, the vitamin C serums that I use, etc. So I'm going to powder the rest of my face just to make sure that that tacky feeling will go away. guys please excuse that broom behind me i was i was trying to clean up earlier but i don't know what happened now i'm gonna move on to bronzer because usually after i'm done putting on my foundation i put on bronzer and i'm using the fenty beauty bronzer the powder that i use to set the rest of my face is the caramaya powder and this is a local brand in my country but you can use any setting powder if you can't find it I always bronze my face because one of the things that I notice with a lot of people who lighten their skin, they always, they wear like super light foundation and they end up looking like a ghost and their face always end up, ends up looking lighter than their body and their hands 
and I tried to avoid that look. Uh, I tried to avoid that look with all cost at all cost. Y'all, I need to hurry up and do my makeup. I have I'm I'm expecting a call at 5 p.m. Y'all. Oh my goodness. So someone asks why don't I show um why don't I show my before and after pictures? So I have addressed this before, and the reason why I don't show my before pictures on YouTube is because YouTube is a very public place and I've had companies, you know, skin lightening companies from different countries all over the world, whatever, that came to my videos, watched my videos, screenshotted my videos and used my, my picture as their, to promote their product. And I don't think that that is, um, is cute. Yo, this broom is bothering me. There. <laughs> you know, my profile picture on YouTube, I've had someone take my picture and use it on their Etsy store. And I don't want to post my before and after pictures on YouTube because I know these companies are going to steal my picture and they're going to lie to people and tell people that, you know, this person got the results using their product. And to avoid that, I don't um I don't post pictures on YouTube, but you can join my skincare group on Facebook. The link is in the description. Come and join the group, and you will see pictures of me, my before pictures in my group. So my real fans, my true fans, they know they have seen my pictures. They know what I look like, and um yeah. Next question. Ooh. So you come all in the back here to Marco? You come to Marco, then mango green. Someone asked me to show my perfume and makeup collection. Well, um, first I have... I do have a makeup collection video here on my channel where I basically show my minimalist makeup collection because I used to buy so much makeup you were like. I had so much makeup, like even up until recently, I gave away a bunch of makeup. The makeup that I'm using here in this video are, are basically all the makeup that I have because I decided to go minimalist with my makeup. So, and my perfume, I don't have a lot of perfumes, but I, um, I don't have a lot of perfumes, but you know, right now, my favorite perfume right now is y'all. I can't pronounce it. It's a, it. it's a perfume by Givenchy. I'll post a picture here so that you guys can see it. But, you know, and because of, you know, COVID and stuff like that, and I haven't been going out, I haven't been wearing perfume at all. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And I'm going to go in with the color Rustic. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Like, when it comes to eye makeup, I don't do a lot. I try to keep it simple and you know like there were times that you know I was super extra with my makeup I'll have glitter um, like a whole full-on glitter cut cut crease and you know smoky eye red lip like I can't even be bothered anymore y'all it's like first of all we I'm not going I, I'm not going out a lot and then secondly I when you go out you have to wear a mask so, you know, I don't get a lot of an, an incentive to do too much with the makeup anyway. And then another reason is that I have gotten um, older. And I feel like, you know, as a woman, you know, your makeup should at least be age appropriate. But I mean, you can do your makeup however you want. So I put that um, color in my crease. And now I'm going to go in. I'm going to use this palette that I'm, I've been using as my mirror. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. And I'm going to go in with this color here, Siren. And I'm gonna put this color all over my lid. So I'm just gonna go with just a regular smoky eye, nothing too fancy. You know, I usually start in the corners first. Like, you know, like kind of like if you're doing a halo eye, I usually start in the corners first and then I fill in the middle. I need another brush. I need this smaller brush to get right here in this crease that is difficult to get to for some reason. I 
and yeah that's the smoky eye that's it so i'm gonna do the other one off camera and i'll come back with another question so i'm gonna go in highlighter and y'all if you guys have been a subscriber of mine for years you all know i've been using the becca prosecco pop highlighter for years and y'all it is so raggedy like the entire top half of the highlighter broke off so this is the highlighter in here y'all i still put i i still put the highlighter on my nose you know like this i still do it some people say it's not cool to do it anymore but i don't know i still do it i think it's cute okay um let me answer this question mom will it give me will it give me my bird color permanently so i guess she's asking me if this is under my glutathione video the video that i did about glutathione i get a lot of views on that video and i get a lot of comments on that video daily so um i guess she i guess what you're asking me is if the glutathione pills will give you your um your bird color permanently and the answer is i can see because if i sit here and tell you that you know you're gonna get if you use glutathione you're gonna get lighter permanently i would be lying so i do not believe that there is such a thing as permanent skin lightening i believe that you can lighten your skin and you can get to a point where you can maintain it for a long time without redarkening i believe that you can also if you i believe if you keep taking glutathione even even when you stop using creams you're not going to go back to your natural to the original tone that you started but permanent i don't think so so i'm just adding some highlight to my cheeks my cheekbones i still do this because i think it's cute but what i do differently now is i used to do this after i apply blush but what i do now is that I apply blush after like I, I apply blush on top of the highlighter so that I don't have like that that blinded highlight you know so you know the blush would blend it out I guess so the blush that I've been using for a long time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush and I use this blush every day y'all um it, it's a it's a trio and I use this, these two colors. I mix these two colors together. I don't use this color. I don't ever use this color because this color is a little too orange. And, you know, I don't use orangey blush, blushes anymore. I mean, I'll probably use it. Like, the only way I'll use this is if I'm wearing, like, maybe blonde hair or something like that. But, yeah. So, let me just go ahead and apply the blush. Like so. And I love blush, y'all. Like... I have, I wear a lot of blush. I do wear a lot of blush. This is how I do my makeup every day. Spit my entire face with the MAC Fix It, Fix It Spray, Fix Plus Spray, whatever. <laughs> And I really drench my face in this thing, y'all. Like, uh, I drench my face in this thing. And after it's dry, I follow up with eyelashes and lipstick. Okay, this is a question that I have under my my Jaro versus Emily Bright glutathione video. And the question is, how would Jaro be any better than any? It's only 500 mill milligrams of glutathione. Okay, um... The reason why I say that Jaros is better is because I'm comparing it to Emily Bright and other glutathione products that I've tried. I've never tried any glutathione, any glutathione products that had like thousands of milligrams of glutathione in it because I feel like I don't believe. I know that, you know, when we take like a, like 2,000 milligrams of glutathione a day, a, like 2,000 milligrams of glutathione a day and 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day, that is in fact overdosing. It's like, you know, you're using um, way more than is recommended. And the reason why we do this is because we are trying to get the skin lightening effect. However, I do not believe in over, like doing too much. I believe that 
and I've never bought any glutathione products that had like thousands of milligrams of glutathione in it. I have never done that. And you know, I've been using good gel glutathione for years and the reason why I'm saying that it's better is because I'm comparing it to the other gel glutathione products that I have that I've tried myself. So, I mean, there are so many people on YouTube that talk about glutathione. You don't have to listen to me, obviously. You can listen to other people. Y'all. You can definitely listen to other people, but I share um, knowledge based on my experience and, you know, my research. So, I don't have all the answers, so obviously I don't know everything. But, of course, you know, keep doing your research, you know, keep looking at other, other people's videos. And, you know, figure, figure out what's best for you. You know, figure out what, what's best for you to figure out who is the best person. Figure out who is the best person that you, you can listen to or follow or whatnot and you know it's your journey because you know everyone's skincare journey is not the same it's not a one size fits, fits all and you know my my journey is tailored to me you know so yeah hope that helps so i'm gonna put on some mascara so i would not be applying mask um eyelashes on on camera because y'all i struggle with that and i I hate doing it, but yeah, I'll be right back to answer some more questions. So now that all of my makeup is on, I'm just going to go in with my lips. And it's the same lip liner that I showed you guys in my last video. Um, it's by Ella Gill and the name of the lip liner is Blushing. I put this on every day because I've gotten so used to using lip liners instead of lipstick because of this whole pandemic and mask wearing thing because I really don't want to be used buying like $20 and $25 lipsticks when I can get like $2 lip liner because like I don't want to get expensive lipsticks to wear a mask but anyway you all know what I mean but anyway I have a question you let me just let me try to answer this question real quick okay hello friend can I ask you about this Emily Bright I have just received my order this afternoon from Amazon skin brilliance was its highlighted name my concern is, are they the same in function? Hope you will notice my comment and take me, take me your response. By the way, thank you so much for wonderful, big, big help, helpful content. God bless. Okay. Um, so this is, this is the second person that have messaged me and told me that they ordered some Emily Bright um, glutathione pills and the name has changed. She also asked me if it's 2000 milligrams of glutathione. I don't think that the Emily Bright capsule has 2,000 milligrams of glutathione because it's the same size as the Jaro. And when you really, if you really read the descriptions on Amazon really carefully, you will see 2,000 mil, um, you will see 2,000 mcg or something like that. That's not milligrams. And I do not know what's going on with Emily Bright, but someone, um, someone is telling me, people are telling me that the name when they order the Emily, Emily blah. People are telling me when they order the Emily Bright glutathione capsules that when the product comes in the mail, the name is Skin Radiance. It's no longer Emily Bright. Y'all, I do not know what the hell is going on. I will no longer recommend that product because that, their product, their packaging, the size, everything has changed dramatically within the past year. I do not know what the hell is going on with that company because I feel like if you have a product and it's working, why interfere with it like why change it you know i don't get it and that's one of the reasons why i stopped buying the um the power powder because i was tired of you know the power powder every time i order a new bottle the smell was different the color was different the taste was different like i didn't like that at all even the texture i do not like inconsistency and you all know i am big on consistency I am, listen, I am very serious about consistency. So having said that, let me put this lip liner on y'all. <laughs> oh, I, by the way, I do overline my lip. I overline my lip all the time. I don't know, I think, you know, when you have full lips, it makes you look younger. And I need all the help that I can get. And with that, I'm going to go and curl my hair. 
and I'll be right back. So this is a final look, y'all. This is a final look. This is how I do my makeup for all my videos, except, okay, I only do a smoky eye. Hold on, y'all. What is hot today? I only do a smoky eye when I'm wearing, um, when I'm not wearing bangs, but when I'm wearing bangs, I don't do a lot. I just put some eyeshadow in my crease, some mascara and eyelashes, and I'm done. Because, you know, like with your bangs, the bangs really take away a lot of the focus from my eyes and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is the final look. Hope you guys like. This is my outfit. I don't know if you guys remember this. Yeah, I got this from Shein last year. Yeah, I got this from Shein last year. Sometime in October or something like that. And I bought it because I thought that Ooh, things are going to open up soon and I'm going to go to church and go out and go out to functions and brunch and stuff like that. You know, so I need this dress. <sighs> that didn't happen at the time. That did not happen. I know we can still go. We can go to church now, but I haven't. And like, I just can't. Like I said earlier, like I don't even have the motivation to go out anymore. But yeah, this is my final. This is a final look. This is my get ready with me Q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Mwah.